Magandang gabi mga kapatid from the United Kingdom, London. This is Pastor Don Magsino. Um, again, binabati natin ang ating mga kapatid sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo from United States of America. Um, binabati rin natin ang mga kapatid natin sa Italy, uh, sa Doha, Qatar, sa UAE, United Arab Emirates, uh, United Kingdom, Israel, at sa lahat ng ating mga kapatid sa Pilipinas. Mga kapatid, kung hindi, nila, hindi nyo na itatanong, In the UK, we have been reading the Bible from the very beginning. When they started at the beginning of the year in 2020, we started reading from Matthew chapter 1 all throughout. Every week, every single week, and every Bible studies, we have been reading um, the uh, the Bible, each, um, each book, each chapter of the book. And now, I want you to be with me in 1st Timothy chapter 4, 5, and 6. 1st Timothy chapter 4, 5, and 6. And um, you can read all three, all this throughout uh, the 1st Timothy chapter 4, 5, and 6. But um, to cut the long story short, and because of the time constraint, we have to maximize the time. And one of the topics that um, is highlighted in these um, three chapters in the book of uh, 1 Timothy 4, 5, and 6 is the question, is money evil? Yun daw bang pera, ito, ba, ito daw ba ay masama? Maraming <coughs> katanungan yan because maraming pastors and um, I've heard that some of the pastors, they preach that money is the root of all evil. And now, the Bible will tell us, is money evil? In 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 to 10, si Apostol Pablo ay ikinumpara niya ang godliness and contentment versus covetousness and the perils of riches. First, and emphasize ni Apostol Pablo that godliness with contentment is a great gain. Yun daw pagiging makadiyos at pagkakaroon ng kakontentuhan sa buhay ay malaking, malaking pakinabang. Then he defines contentment as being satisfied with the very basics of having food and clothing. Yun nga namang contentment, mahalaga sa buhay ng tao. Yung pagkakaroon ng pagiging contento sa mga basic na bagay, pagkain, clothing. In 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 8, And having food and raiment, let us therewith content. Sinasabi doon na, kailangang makontento na tayo sa anumang meron tayo ngayon. Yun ang sinasabi ng 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 8. Na magkaroon tayo ng kakontentuhan. In Philippians 4, 11, verse 12, Paul learned, San Pablo, natutunan niya ang salitang contentment. Mahalaga sa tao may contentment. Hindi ko sinasabing huwag tayong mangarap kasi maganda rin na may pangarap sa buhay. Hindi naman natin sinasabing huwag. Pero iba yung